What's up guys? Prometheus Rex here, also known as Jordan. And today I thought I would show you some of my tips and tricks to have the best fantasy football strategy for your drafts in 2024. So let's get into it. So first I want to show, this is the current rankings on the site of what the players are. And no surprise here at the top, we got McCaffrey and C.D. Lamb and Brees Hall and Bijan and Tyreek Hill. Now those are pretty much the top five in most. I have seen Amon Ra St. Brown a little higher in some projections, but this is just based off of simply, you know, their rankings, ESPN's rankings. Now I wanted to also say, based off of ADP, which is your average draft position, this is for a PPR, which is points per reception, draft, and league. And I I prefer this with 10 players because I think it's just the best. I've tried with eight, I've tried with 12 before, and 10 is by far my favorite. So I wanna give you advice based off of where you're gonna be picking. So for me, I believe I'm gonna be picking uh, two or three in one of these positions. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it's two. So in this case, I would have pretty good, unless something crazy happens, I could have a chance to get Tyreek Hill, C.D. Lamb, Amon Ross St. Brown, B. John Robinson, or Brees Hall. See, Brees Hall is a much lower on this list for some reason. But this is more off of the ADP. Because running back, so it's, it's different this year. It's really different. Now, here are some strategies I want to I want to mention. So, hero running back, which is you draft your running back with your first pick in the first round, and then you're like, okay, this guy's going to carry my running back room. Then you're going to go, okay, wide receiver, wide receiver, tight end or quarterback, and then quarterback, which is it's not a bad strategy depending on where you're picking and which running back. If you get Bijan or Brees, that might work but this year i'm skeptical of that strategy and then hero round two rb which the the version of this that i've seen i didn't like because how this goes is you pick a wide receiver so say from here i would take tyreek hill right here and then maybe josh jacobs is here available or i could take pacheco in this which is good. I like having one of those in the second round. But the traditional version of hero round two of running back is not... After that point, it's like you, do, you choose a wide receiver here. So I could get like maybe Garrett Wilson, maybe Debo or Alave. I like Alave more than Debo this year. And then the strategy would be here just to go tight end quarterback, wide receiver, and just not even worry about running backs. I don't like that strategy because running backs are pretty scarce this year, so I wouldn't want to wait so long to get another running back. So here's what I would do. In this position, in drafting either two, three, or four here, I would do, I would start off with a wide receiver because these two are available here, I might consider getting Brees Hall or B. John Robinson. I know Brees Hall is, uh, because he's had, you know, a torn in ACL, people are skeptical with him, which I like him this year. He had a good year. He was healthy for most of the year. I'm not worried about that, but I don't know if I would pick him here or Amon Ra, but here, definitely, I would pick Tyree Kill or C.D. Lamb. And then... Running back, so again, Pacheco. I could also get Jacobs potentially. I know that Jameer Gibbs got hurt, so he probably won't be here at 10 anymore. But Pacheco's fine. I like ETN this year. Kyron is going a little high based off of what Sean McVay has said about uh, he's planning on having more of a split usage with uh, Blake Corum. I I'm skeptical of Kyron Williams this year, fantasy-wise, as a Rams fan. 
I, I'll just be happy if both of our running backs just get a ton of yardage and a ton of touchdowns. So here, I would go wide receiver, running back in the second round, and then round three, I would go wide receiver again. So here, again, there's Devo and a lot of like a lot of this here. The Saints schedule is pretty pretty easy. Again, it's bottom five in uh, strength in difficulty, a strength of schedule. So I like that. And then here in round four, I would go wide receiver again. So here's Diggs. Strad's a little high here. I wouldn't I wouldn't go for that. I like Devontae Smith, and I, but I would definitely go in round four running back. So let's see here. So there's Mixon. Mixon's here. And Cook is very low on this, which I think he might go a little higher in this position, which, again, every draft is different. With this strategy, you don't have to stick to it if, for some reason, people just start taking too many wide receivers off early or too many running backs off early. you got to kind of go with the flow with your draft, and you want to go with what's best available and fill the gaps as you go along. So then here, in round five, I'd say go either tight end or running back. So Rashad White, I like I like him. There's also potential in your draft where Jared Cook might just fall. And also here, so tight ends, so as you can see, Travis Kelsey went high up, which I don't have him the number one tight end fantasy-wise on my board this year because of his age. I have Sam Laporta as number one. But I definitely, if Sam Laporta falls to you at this point, you got to snag him. you got to snag him. He is he is going to be very good this year. So tight end wise, see in this, there's Mark Andrews all the way down here. So if Mark Andrews has fallen, I would just not go tight end here. I would go wide receiver. Again, it, it depends on how people are drafting. Some people might take quarterbacks really high or tight ends really high, and that just kind of starts the cycle of like, oh, I need one too right now. So try to be patient with your draft. But here, there's there's DJ Moore available, Mary Cooper, Pittman, any of those would be good. DK is great, but the whole split with with Seattle and their wide receivers tends to be a little rough with Tyler Lockett. So I would stay away from that at this point. If he falls to round six, snag him. So round six, I'd say quarterback, because there's so many good quarterbacks this year, especially with the rookies. Caleb Williams and Jaden Daniels, I expect to have good years. Also, sleeper pick, uh, Bo Nix on Denver. He looked really good in the preseason so far, and I think he could potentially be a good backup this year as far as the rookies. So, here in round six, quarterback, let's see who's available right here. Okay, so, Joe Burrow here. Ooh, if you could get Joe Burrow here, that would be great. So far, he looks healthy, no burst appendix or anything. I know he's coming off a season-ending injury, but I wouldn't be too concerned about that because he looks good. And this is the first off-season where he's actually, at this point, at this stage, throwing a practice, no issues, he's healthy. So I would go Joe Burrow. I also think that there's a potential that Stroud could fall all the way down here. I know people are really high on C.J. Stroud in fantasy, and I like that, but the Texans are going from one of the easiest schedules to one of the hardest this season, so those numbers might go down a little bit. So for that reason, I wouldn't take him so high. Obviously, Mahomes is here, and sometimes him and Josh Allen might slide down to round four or five. Or in Last year, in a draft, I had Patrick Mahomes slide all the way down to round six, and I snagged him about right here. So that, that is an option. And as far as round seven and eight, these two are interchangeable. You could do running back. You could do wide receiver. It kind of depends at this point of like what you need. If you have Brees Hall and you took Brees Hall, I would definitely go running back first just as an insurance policy because, you know, running backs, they get hurt. Wide receivers, they don't get hurt as often, not nearly as often because it's not as physical ground pound as running back position. I would also say here, I would go try in the first round, the first five picks, try to go wide receiver. If you're at six and seven, and you're like, okay, 
let's say that uh, B. John Robinson, let's switch these two. So let's say these two are in a different, you know, let's reverse that. So Chase goes here, B. John Robinson goes here. So let's say I'm picking six. Here I would take Brees Hall or B. John Robinson in six or seven, eight. I mean, Justin Jefferson could go as high as four I've seen, which I think the eight is about right. A.J. Brown, he is a little bit of a wild card this year with this new offense, but I, I expect him to produce pretty well. So this would be a safe. And I also wanted to point out here that it's slightly different here. Obviously, you know, Bijan and Brees are like the number two and three players here, which who knows, with, based off of how they get receptions, you know, that's very important with running backs. Because as you can see here, Brees Hall had 68 receptions. Bijan Robinson had 65. This is going to go way up. Because in the middle of the season, last year the Falcons did not really throw him the ball for some reason. The first couple games, he got a ton of receptions. The last couple of games, he got a ton of receptions. So I expect him to have even more receptions this year. I'd say maybe 75. It could even go all the way up to 80, depending on their offense, because their offense looks very good, and their defense looks good with the newest acquisitions too. So I my favorite players fantasy-wise, again, with Christian McCaffrey, it's a risk. He's 28 now. You're, you got to kind of play devil's advocate here and be like, okay, is he Marshall Falk? Is he Priest Humps? Is he going to have this like record-breaking 28-year season? Which could happen, but again, his usage was insane last year and the previous year. you got to remember, he played 39 games in the past two seasons because they made it all the way to the Super Bowl this year, and they didn't get it done. But he was still, again, he had 67 receptions, his carries were through the roof. I'm pretty sure he led the NFL in usage as a running back and what compared to wide receivers too. I mean, if you look at the 67, that is competing with some of these other wide receivers down here. Alave had 87. Like, guys, if you're picking number one, I would say just do it. But I wouldn't want to be in that position this year because... It's a gamble with Christian McCaffrey and injuries, especially year 28, with that much usage. As far as picking two or three, this is where I expect to be picking so far this year in my drafts. And I would say C.D. Lamb or Tyreek Hill at two or three, just snag them up. I wouldn't go running back yet. As you saw with my strategy, I think that it's better, a lot better. I think it's a lot better to go with this strategy, start with a wide receiver, then running back, kind of alternate. I'm not worried about getting a good quarterback this year. That's why I would go so low with quarterback. Tight end, again, there's not a lot of hero tight ends projected this year, so that's why five is good, but even if you pick down here at seven, you're still going to get a quality tight end. So here I found this off of the, based off of the ADP, and I would definitely say that some of these reds, I'm like, oh, this is, he's going too high here. I I wouldn't read too much into that. I mean, obviously, all of this is green. Tyreek Hill is like a lighter green, as if like that's a negative to have him there. But either way. So uh, stay tuned for more uh, fantasy football content and videos about how to draft. I will continue to do... Uh, fantasy football content on this channel and I am very excited as the season comes around the corner to uh, let you guys know what I think week to week. I'm planning on doing uh, some videos saying start this guy, sit this guy this week. This is a bad matchup so stay tuned for that. Please like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment what you think. If you think my, my strategy is amazing, tell me. If you think it's crazy, Tell me. Let me know in the comments, and I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.